Welcome back, everybody. My name is Taylor Martin. This is the Best Damn EDC, and it's time for another EDC Weekly. And this one is going to be a little bit different. I said a few weeks ago that I wanted to do a Discord only. It's been a long time since I've done one of these, and uh, this one was, in particular, very fun for me. I think the monotony of doing the EDC Weekly gets really old. <laughs> it really does. But with this one, it was different. I could look for different stuff because there were people who were sharing their carries and, and photos in the EDC Photos channel and the Discord that weren't specifically focused on anything. They were just sharing what they wanted to share, not trying to do anything in particular. And because of that, it almost has more of a candid nature to it, I guess. I don't know. But I liked being able to go through something that wasn't so defined and pick out stuff that jumped out at me. So that's what this was. There wasn't anything specific I was looking for, and I really liked that. So yeah, that's what this one's all about. It's a Discord edition of the EDC Weekly, and with that said, let's do the damn thing. Just right up front, I do have two announcements to make. Uh, first is from the last EDC Weekly, I said that three random commenters would get their patch first. So I have three winners. The winners from that are Christopher Robin, JMG, JR Gaming, as well as Richard Fuentes. I randomly selected those comments from the last video or the last EDC Weekly, and I will be in touch and you guys will get your patches in the mail. Also, those patches are dropping today over on Best MEDC or the exclusive website. The link will be down below. And at long last, we have a EDC Weekly giveaway put together, finally, just from stuff I had around the office. And I have selected a winner at random. So basically, if you've submitted to the show at all since September of last year, you were entered into this giveaway. I have also given anybody who was featured here on Instagram or even on the website, because we are still doing that then, an additional entry. And the winner of this stuff right here, which I'm about to go through, is Kramer Ebre, or EDC Gearhead, over on Instagram. Congratulations, I will be in touch. But you're gonna get a lot of really cool stuff. So first up uh, in this box here, this is a brand new Okluma DC0 in titanium. New in box, I will just kind of take it out very quickly. So you're getting an Okluma DC0 in titanium as well as a spare battery that also comes with an Okluma, looks like an Okluma coaster down in there, and probably some other goodies, yeah, stickers and stuff, as well as a spare battery and a COA. In addition to that, you're getting a Wii Knife Arsenal. This is good. I'm trying to not take too long with this stuff, so I'm gonna be going through it pretty fast. Wii Knife Arsenal, this one came courtesy of Wii Knife. They sent this to me to give away a long time ago. <laughs> we have a Keybar Junior that is from a budget video from a while back. A Refine EP1 in titanium. A Topsider Mini from Dasa Finamere. This was a limited release, so I'm giving away the um, Blue Pueblo. And then finally, this. Uh, I had one spare. I purchased some gifts for my Discord mods back at Christmas and I had one extra of the Garage Build Gear Mighty Pouch Plus. So all of this will be headed your way, Kramer. And congratulations one more time. And just to keep it rolling, we're gonna do another one. And I, I can't really do these monthly like I used to because I'm not doing the EDC Weekly every single week just yet. Um, so I think we're gonna try to do the giveaway like quarterly or something. But regardless, continue to submit your carry. Just edcw.co. If you do, you'll be entered to win stuff like this right here. A full, really nice carry. The full amount of that carry is probably in excess of six or seven hundred dollars. I don't know exactly, but it's it's expensive. It's a lot of good stuff. So just continue to submit your carry and you'll be entered to win stuff like that. That's it for announcements, I think. So now let's get into it. Okay, with that out of the way, our very first submission this week comes from six six foot Sith. Six foot Sith. You will work through it. I work through it sometimes and figure out what the hell I'm trying to say. Um, he calls this Weekend Errands. And just to note about this Discord episode, um, there's not a lot of description about a lot of this stuff. Some of them don't even list what's in the photo, so I'm only having to guess at some things. But first up in this photo, there's a Sig Sauer. I don't know what model in the top left. He has that in a McKenna Tech holster. That is a Topo holster, which is kind of cool. Below that, there is a handkerchief with a key on top. That is an Atlas Creations handkerchief also in Topo. And then the flashlight that you see to the right of that is an EGTAC D3A. The watch 
watch is a boulder expedition to Iger, and then the knife is a benchmade griptilian sheep's foot in 154 cm it looks like with some awt scales and i'm not sure what the pattern is on those but uh that is one of my favorite configurations of the griptilian the the pen he did not list what this stuff was so i'm, I'm just going off what i know i know that i've seen this pen before but i could not place it it looks almost like an embassy pen but it is not i don't know what it is but with that knurling, maybe maybe somebody can tell us in the comments what that pin is exactly. And then finally, the wallet to the far right is one we saw recently, I think in the last episode, the Akini Exto wallet. I also learned how to pronounce that that brand or that, that type of wallet. It's Exto. Akini, their original wallet, was the Sto wallet, and now they have the Exto wallet. Didn't know that at first, but yes, Exto. No, but that, that Griptilian, that is my favorite version of the Griptilian by far. Uh, I would probably prefer it without a, a coated blade, but the AWT scales on a sheep's foot with the thumb hole, that is the best Griptilian that you can get, period. I had one with some green AWT scales. I sold it stupidly. I should not have. Um, I will probably put together another one eventually. But anyway, that that's actually probably the reason I chose this photo is, is for that version of the Griptilian. And to, to pay homage to Mel Pardue, who has passed away since, uh, I think, the beginning of this year. I think they passed away earlier this year. So, condolences to his family, a legend in the knife world. And uh, yeah, just wanted to pay homage to it and point out one of my favorite little combinations of, like, a, a commonly modified knife being the Griptilian with those scales specifically. So, really cool stuff. And if you guys do know what pin that is, uh, just let us know in the comments down below. Okay, so this next photo comes from Chuck It over in the Discord. This was not a carry. You can actually see their gear off to the left sitting on top of this thing they have on their steering wheel. It looks like a little lap desk or something inside the car. I, I don't know exactly. Uh, but you can't really see what their carry is. They might have included a different photo, but this is what made me stop scrolling when I was going through the EDC Photos channel. I have a few of these little ammo cans. They're actually really cool. You can get some plastic ones at Harbor Freight, but there are some local like antique stores that have a bunch of these and, and probably um, surplus stores as well have a bunch of these ammo cans. I've never seen someone put foam inside one of these. That's really cool. It's clever. Let's see if we can see what knives there are in this photo. Uh, can I pick anything out in particular? I can see a Benchmade 940 in the bottom. One of those middle knives is a Benchmade 940. I see a Paramilitary 2 in the top left, beside that Microtech in the very top left. That is definitely a PM2. There is a bear, a Tactile Knife Company bear next to the, the Microtech. Let's see if there's anything else I can really pick out. It's kind of hard to see. I can't really, but this guy really likes frag pattern and things like frag pattern. I can tell you that. But no, I can't tell what the rest of these knives are. The one below might also be another PM2 with a frag pattern and a backspacer. It looks like it, just based on the lanyard tube and the screw holes for the, the pocket clip. But that's all I can really pick out. I just thought this was a really cool idea. I've, I've not seen someone do this before, and that's a really cool way to store some stuff. And uh, I typically use Pelican cases, but if you can get foam inserts for these ammo cans, I would like to do that. That's that's a really cool way to store them. Anyway, I'm repeating myself. Thank you for submitting Chuck It. But before we go any further, I want to thank our sponsor for this video, Blade HQ. As I'm sure many of you are aware, Blade HQ is an online knife retailer that offers thousands of different knives from everything from the big companies like Benchmade and Spyderco all the way down to smaller makers like Notorious EDC and Pena Knives. I've made lots of great friends over at Blade HQ over the years, and deep down, they're knife nuts just like you and me, and they're also themselves part of this awesome and rapidly growing knife community. They, a relatively new thing from Blade HQ that you may not know about is that they now offer free two-day shipping on any orders domestic over $99. And there's always something new coming with Blade HQ. Like this week, there's the BRS Evolve Apache. That's a new version of an older knife. This time it comes with a button lock and a flipper. That's coming out later this week, but there's also exclusives like what Blade HQ does with Pena. This week, there's the new Dogleg Jack. That's with JG10 scales, a black bolster, and a black coated spear point M390 blade. And there's also an exclusive X-Series Raptor that dropped this week. And that one has the same finish as this Trapper right here with a black M4 blade, black bolster, and black micarta scales. Of course, it is a different blade shape and a different handle shape, but 
very same finishes. The Pena knives are already available on the site right now, and the BRS Apache is coming out later this week. So if you want to know more or purchase those, hit the link in the description down below and follow Blade HQ over on Instagram for more information. The bottom line is no matter what you like, Blade HQ is going to have something that meets your needs. So hit the link in the description down below and check out everything they have to offer. And once again, I want to thank Blade HQ for sponsoring this video. The next submission comes from turbo.edc in the Discord. I would imagine that that's probably also their Instagram handle, but I don't know for sure. Again, this one is not a carry specifically, but instead this is a Chris Reeve collection that uh, I think anybody would be jealous of. Um, these are really cool and some rare or hard to get versions of Chris Reeve's knives. I mean, Chris Reeve knives right now are just hard to get in general if you wanna buy new. But with that said, the very first one, the one that jumped out at me the most is this Wilson Combat Chris Reeve StarTac Umnimzon. So that is a Wilson Combat exclusive collaboration and I think that looks awesome, but there's something going on with those titanium handles. I, I'm not sure what it is. It almost looks like a marbled carbon fiber scale. I don't think it is. I think it's titanium. I would imagine it's still titanium. There have been some carbon fiber Chris Reeve knives, but pretty sure that's titanium, but I don't know how they got that pattern or effect on it. It's not flamed. I, I don't know, but man, looking at that, not the relief, but the 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 milling or the 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 chamfering for the thumb to for lock bar access, it kind of looks like marble carbon fiber. Regardless, that also has the Jekyll to Hyde design, Umnimzon backspacer. There's also one on the Sabenza 31 that's in the top. So that's a in single blade Sabenza 31. And then the two in the middle are in Kosi's. One of those is a PDW special designs, pre, special product division. So PDW SPD wave with the Kraken logo on it. That's a really cool Encosi. And then the other one is customized. I don't know who by, but it has a red Cerakote handle and an acid etched blade with a thumb hole cut into it. All four of these Chris Reeve knives, absolutely stellar. And I think I really need to add one of those uh, backspacers to the Umnims on. Just makes it look cool. Actually, I kind of like it on the Sabenza more. Regardless, really, really cool carry. And this one Again, comes from Turbo EDC. The next submission comes from Kevin Beercan, and I chose this one just for color coordination. And and one thing I don't see very often is these Arcane Designs knives. So these Arcane Design knives are designed after like almost a comic book, space exploration, futuristic, otherworldly stuff. Uh, really interesting and different designs, very angular, but they look really cool. This photo in particular, what we have here is the Arcane Designs crawler in the middle of the photo. Next to that is the Refine EP1 pen to the left. Just above that is an awesome Hank gear cracking coin, and all of that is also sitting on top of an awesome Hank gear Hank. The Organizer that you see in the top right of the photo is a Hitch and Timber Runt 2.0 in Moon Gray. He also has the Vero Engineering Mini Fulcrum and a Streamlight Micro Stream in Black. Really cool gear. It's color coordinated very, very well. I just chose this one because you don't see those Arcane Design knives very often. Um, I mean, I'm sure that there are many out there, but I, I don't personally see very many of them. And they're always kind of I don't know. They, they're attention grabbing. I don't think it's something that I would own or carry. I particularly don't like how angular they are, but they are definitely attention grabbing for sure. Anyway, thank you for sharing this photo. Next up, we have a photo from Mock Leather. And as you could imagine, Mock Leather has his own leather company called Mock Leather. And in this photo, in the bottom left, there is a Mock Leather wallet. I would imagine this is a card wallet of some sort, just a very minimalist card wallet. On top of that is a tactile turn bolt action short in titanium with a Timascus bolt. He also has in the top left of the photo, almost out of frame, is a Spider Co. Spidey Chef. It looks like it's been modified, maybe anodized scales, and it also has a Lynch Northwest deep carry pocket clip on it. And that knife has been used a good bit. I love to see that. The Hank that's underneath the Spidey Chef is a Mighty Hank's Mighty Mini. And then he has an Olay i3T EOS and it looks like in titanium. And then in the center of the photo is the watch. One of my favorite watches in this world is the Marathon TSAR. And he has that on a Perlon strap. Now, I'm assuming that this is a TSAR only because it does not say automatic at the bottom of the dial. The automatic, so the GSAR typically says automatic underneath the uh, hands in the center or just above the six. So I'm, I'm assuming that's a TSAR. Doesn't matter. They're both awesome watches. They both look the same. I love marathon watches. 
period. But I especially love to see knives like the Spidey Chef. The Spidey Chef is just a great knife in general. I think it's a really, really great knife, totally rust resistant. So obviously you know that I like it, but seeing one used and abused like that is, is great. I, I miss seeing even my knives. I hate that most of them are not like beat up because I have so many and I rotate so often they just don't get beat up. But I'd like to just beat up a couple really good knives and stick to one for like six months, but I know I can't do it. Anyway, I love this gear. I love this photo. The photo quality is really, really great too. And it looks like your leather work is great as well. So kudos. Thanks for sharing. And uh, you have an entry into the giveaway that we'll be doing in a couple of months. The next to last submission this week comes from northerner.edc. And again, just a really clean photo. And this isn't necessarily a carry, but it shows kind of the selection that this person goes through when they wake up in the morning, I would imagine. They, they choose between a knife and then they have their stuff that they stick to regularly. So first up in this photo, in the bottom left of the little tray that you see there is a hitch and timber wallet. I believe that's a hitch or half hitch. The knives that you see above that, you have a Spyderco Para 3. Looks like it's got some Micarta scales. Don't know who they're by. Maybe Rips Garage Tech. Looks like maybe. And then we have a Lynch Northwest deep carry clip and maybe a combat beads bead. Not entirely sure. Next to that is a Benchmade Mini Crooked River as well as a Chavez Ultramar Rendencion Street 229. Probably a drop point if I were to guess. And if we go to the right quadrant, upper right quadrant, we have an Olight flashlight. Looks like, mm, I'm going to guess a Baton 3. I don't know which one that gradient color was. It's either an S1R Baton 2 or a Baton 3. I would imagine he has a Pete's Pirate Life V1 coin as well as a Ferro EDC bottle opener nuck. And I don't know who makes this other little pry tool bottle opener. I've seen them. I don't know who makes that one and I don't know who makes the bead that's attached to it. And then the bottom right quadrant, the last two things we see are a Benchmade proper sheep's foot in micarta as well as a SOG power pint for the multi-tool. Again, just super clean photo. And I like how well it's laid out, but the gear here is also really good. I've not seen Benchmade Proppers very much recently. I know they were discontinued, but a really good knife for the money. I think it was a really good slip joint. That The walk and talk on them wasn't amazing, but I think they looked great. The aesthetics of those Benchmade Proppers were just, I think the best looking Benchmades, period. <laughs> Honestly, if you're gonna ask me. Um, but anyway, thank you for sharing Northerner EDC. You also have a second entry into the giveaway. And finally, the very last photo comes from, ironically, dead last over in the Discord. And uh, this was just a really, really cool micro EDC. Just really strong, high quality stuff. Very, very pocketable. So the first thing you see here is the leather organizer. I can't make out who it's by. I mean, I, I've zoomed in on this and I just cannot tell what name is on there. It looks like there's an L at the very bottom, but I, I cannot make out the logo. But regardless, a leather organizer of some sort, there's also an unknown titanium pry bar here. It might be the Gondek EDC pry bar, but I, I, again, don't know for sure. And then there is a Swiss Army knife here with micarta scales. So micarta scales, I would imagine they're from Etsy or uh, Daily Customs or someone but I can't tell if that's a classic SD or a mini champ. I would guess classic SD because the mini champ is pretty thick and wouldn't fit really well in an organizer like that. And then finally we have a Spider Co McB and this has a, well, it's got like a Damascus looking pattern. What is it? Beskar metal from uh, Mandalorian. It's the Mandalorian logo and Beskar metal, I would imagine for the scales. I would guess this was customized by Way of Knife but I, I don't know for sure. But just now, only now, when I zoomed in, did I notice that it has a Macarta backspacer. I don't know what that little point's for. Actually, for additional grip on that little knife. Ooh, I'm gonna have to look into that. I still have a McB. That's really cool. Uh, I didn't even think about that, but that's a cool way to add a little length to the handle of that knife is, is a cool little backspacer. I didn't even know that that was a thing, but apparently it is. So very, very cool. Thank you for sharing dead last, but that's it for now. Thank you guys for submitting and using the discord and being part of that awesome community. But next time, uh, let's, let's see, what are we going to do next time? Okay, go to edcw.co and submit your best modified carries. So whether that's an anodized, scale for your knife or something that's truly been modified like a spidey hole being put into a sabenza whatever your best modified carry is 
Let's see it. That did well last time. It was a lot of fun. I love seeing stuff that's modified. So that's it for next time. Um, everything you saw in this video will be linked down below if you're interested in checking any of that out. Many of those will be affiliate links. So if you purchase anything using those links, it'll give me a little bit of a kickback, help support what we're doing here. But you can also go to patreon.com forward slash best MEDC if you want to support there. But that's all for now. Thank you guys for watching once again. And until next time, carry on.